Discarded fishing nets like these make up a tenth of the plastic polluting the world's seas. The Baltic, one of the busiest seas on the planet with a long history of fishing, is heavily affected. Finding these nets and collecting them again is no easy task. Known as ghost nets, they're almost invisible underwater. Nobody's going to get the nets up, so they are taking not only the fish there, which will die and rotten, but also birds and, and, and marine mammals. After months of research, this Finnish crew are trawling suspected problem areas using hooks designed to grab the nets, but leave the seabed as intact as possible. Progress is painstakingly slow. This time the hooks come back empty. Yet in the last three weeks, they've dragged 300 kilometers of the sea floor and recovered around a thousand meters worth of netting. Around these waters, I think that the, the problem is not as, as big as in the southern part of the Baltic Sea. So if we go to the Swedish coast, so we can, we can really see that there is a problem and it's, it's more serious than, than what we have here. In a few weeks' time, the team will decide if these expeditions are worth expanding to elsewhere in the waters off Finland. The researchers say that this project, the first of its kind in this part of the world, is a sign that more countries are finally waking up to the problem of ghost nets.